So we measure the sags so we can determine which range of rider the bike is best suited for stock. It also helps us to pick spring stiffnesses for different people's weights down the line. You can measure from a point on the chassis to a point on the swing arm. Um, and it just allows us to easily measure the sack. Uh, back in the day, you would have used one of these or just a ruler. Uh, but this just makes life easy. From here, we're going to pull out the shock absorber and the forks. Um, we're going to test them on the dynamometers, check what size the bushes are, just so you know what they are as well. For this bike, we're looking to maybe make a lowering link, so stay posted for that. See about the stock valving on the shock. Um, we may or may not do a kit for that. Um, for the forks, we're definitely making up a valving spec for you guys to come and grab. All right, so now we're gonna measure the free length and the compressed length of the shock. That way we'll, um, we can work out the stroke of the shock. Um, we can get some idea of how the geometry of the bike is, um, how the heights achieved through the shock absorber and the linkage. So we can figure out how to lift it, lower it, whatever we need to do in the future. So we've taken the spring off, we've measured it, we've done it with the shock. It's actually looking pretty good, despite the lack of adjustment or unbuildability. But yeah, uh, from here, um, we're probably gonna take the forks out and see what's going on with them. And then we'll get back to you.